the decision to invest in a new market by a foreign investor is often framed by the pursuit of a predictable legal framework, which among other things respects the sanctity of contracts and facilitates a level playing field. Regardless of the industry, careful planning is the rule of thumb for those who wish to invest. After achieving independence in 1975, Angola was ravaged by a civil war that lasted nearly 30 years, resulting in the massive destruction of its basic infrastructures with deep negative consequences for its economic and social development. Upon the end of the war in 2002, the country regained peace and stability. It took on the great challenge of national reconstruction, which entailed rebuilding its physical infrastructures, completely destroyed by the war and developing integrated social projects of paramount importance in order to restore the social and human fabric that was irreparably damaged as a result of the armed conflict. Therefore, the country's current political and economic stability is a key factor for attracting direct investment in the various sectors, with a view to increasing internal production and contributing to diversifying its economy. Luanda is the capital of Angola. It is on the Angola's Atlantic coast. It is one of the best cities in Africa to invest in for various reasons but the most simple and logical reason is because it is growing meaning in the near future there will be huge returns on your investment. Its current renaissance is a truly inspiring success story. In recent history, the center of decades of conflict, the start of the 21st century has seen a massive boom in construction in Luanda, where peace and stability have attracted numerous foreign companies to invest in offices in the city. Angola is a potentially rich country, characterized by abundant reserves of natural resources such as oil, natural gas, diamonds and other minerals, a vast hydrographic network, vast expanses of arable land and a tropical climate that is very favorable for agriculture, livestock, fishing, hunting and rural tourism. Despite the current difficult environment, brought about by the economic and financial crisis affecting countries and markets all around the world, Angola's prospects for growth and development are rather encouraging. Its economic growth rate is one of the highest in the entire African continent. However, even with the drop in crude oil prices in the international market, Angola's GDP continues to grow at a more or less stable rate of 6.8% 2013 and 3.9% 2014. Angola is the second largest producer of crude oil in sub-Saharan Africa after Nigeria. Crude oil exports are the country's main source of revenue, accounting for 97.35% of annual exports and making up about 46.8% of GDP 2014. The drop in oil prices and the consequent decrease in revenue is posing great challenges for the internal market, which calls for the necessary and inevitable readjustment of governmental projects and programs across the board. However, such challenges can be turned into opportunities for innovation and for the redirecting of the available resources, which can go towards investment projects that contribute to increasing non-oil GDP, thereby progressively reducing the country's dependence on one single export. The process of national reconstruction and diversification of the economy opens a wide range of business opportunities across the various sectors. Private investors have access to all sectors of the Angolan economy, including construction and infrastructure development, with the exception of sectors classified as sensitive, namely national security and defense, which are under the exclusive responsibility of the state. The economic and social sectors currently offering the highest number of investment opportunities are agriculture, livestock production and forestry, construction and housing support. With the aim of improving the business environment and making the Angolan market more attractive for private investment, as well as for direct foreign investment, the government passed the new Private Investment Act, Law No. 14-15 of 11-8-2015, which lays down the general framework for private investment in Angola. The new law sets out the principles and rules for access to benefits and other facilities provided by the state, most notably tax, customs, and foreign exchange incentives, which favor the establishment of partnerships for the implementation of development projects, mainly related to construction, expansion, and rehabilitation of infrastructures across the various sectors. 
Such benefits include exemption from industrial tax over specific periods of time and rebates on customs duties paid on imports of raw materials, equipment, and capital goods. Angola is a country with a growing population of more than 31 million, divided into 18 provinces, with its capital, Luanda, home to 2.5 million people. Well known for being the second largest oil producer of the African continent, Angola also has potential to develop other unrelated industries, such as mining, agriculture, construction, power generation, fisheries, and tourism. Luanda is Angola's primary port and its major industrial, cultural, and urban center. Luanda and its metropolitan area is the most populous Portuguese-speaking capital city in the world. Luanda has many sectors in which an aspiring investor can invest knowing in the long run their investment will be a success. Construction of Infrastructure Luanda's population increased greatly from refugees fleeing the war, but its infrastructure was inadequate to handle the increase. This also caused the exacerbation of slums or mussocks around Luanda. The city is undergoing a major reconstruction, with many large developments taking place that will alter its cityscape significantly. We see great opportunity in construction, and there is a good chance if you were to invest in the city's construction projects you won't regret it, you will be helping Angolans live comfortable while making money from it. Natural Resources Angola has Africa's second largest oil reserves as well as other precious natural resources, which are already being exploited by the government, but can be further exploited to maximum capacity to produce more revenue. The government of Angola, getting rich off revenue from oil, diamond, and other natural resources, is also investing heavily in and around Luanda, including large social housing high-rises to replace slums and existing dilapidated, and often bullet-ridden, high-rises, extensive repaving, the construction of several six-lane highways leading out of the city, the reconstruction of railroad lines leading out of the city, and a large new airport currently being constructed outside of town. Hence, if you invest in Luanda's industrial sector, you won't regret it. Water Supply Luanda has historically had difficulties with maintaining a clean and accessible water supply, and decades of war and insecurity exacerbated the situation. The influx of new residents completely overwhelmed the capacity of the city's public services, such as sewage treatment and trash collection. Even in the years following the Civil War, Luanda was still vulnerable to frequent outbreaks of cholera and other diseases stemming from a lack of potable water. There is a saying that goes thus, if you want to make money solve your community's problems and the money will flow in. Health is wealth and with a good water supply it will reduce the health risk in El Sunda and improve productivity. So an investment here won't be such a bad idea. Real Estate Luanda, the capital city in Angola. The growing demand of both residential and commercial units in Luanda have not been met despite government efforts to construct new properties across the capital. The prices of office space per square meter are reportedly one of the highest in the world at a jaw dropping $150 per square meter per month. Therefore, investing in Luanda, Angola guarantees you a high return on investment. Industries The industries present in the city include the processing of agricultural products, beverage production, plastic products, textile, cement, newly car assembly plants, construction materials, plastic, metallurgy, cigarettes, and shoes. The city is also notable as an economic center for oil, and a refinery is located in the city. Petroleum is refined in the city, although this facility was repeatedly damaged during the Angolan Civil War. Luanda has an excellent natural harbor. The chief exports are coffee, cotton, sugar, diamonds, iron, and salt. Luanda has been considered one of the most expensive cities in the world for expatriates. Around one-third of Angolans live in Luanda, 53% of whom live in poverty. 
Living conditions in Luanda are poor for most of the people, with essential services such as safe drinking water and electricity still in short supply, and severe shortcomings in traffic conditions. On the other hand, luxury constructions for the benefit of the wealthy minority are booming. The city also has a thriving building industry, an effect of the nationwide economic boom experience since 2002. When political stability returned with the end of the Civil War, economic growth is largely supported by oil extraction activities, although great diversification is taking place. Large investment, domestic and international, along with strong economic growth, has dramatically increased construction of all economic sectors in the city of Luanda. The country offers unique business opportunities to local, regional and international companies in sectors as natural resources, energy, agriculture exports, consumer goods, financial services, tourism, real estate and large infrastructure projects. All this makes Luanda a great city to invest in. We hope you loved the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship and personal development. Help our channel grow.